Hey guys, Adventures in Urbex here. And today in this video, we're gonna be doing some one-on-one -on -one talk here, like one-on-one -on -one talk. I wanna motivate you guys and inspire you guys because I feel like motivation is the key to continue to get through life every day and inspiring people. And that's kind of what I wanna do. I don't feel like I've never, never really had that many people in this life to inspire me. And I wanna be there for you guys to be able to do that for you guys. So number one, peer pressure. Peer pressure, I feel like is something that we really need to limit here as far as like society and life, how it is, you know. Uh, a lot of the times we are peer pressured by our, our fellow people and people that we consider our friends. They, they peer pressure us and they make us feel like we're pressured to do things that we're not comfortable doing. That's when we have to break loose from those kind of people. I know it's really hard to do that and I understand life can be very treacherous where it's really hard to break away from people that you care about. But sometimes peer pressuring is very unhealthy. It's very toxic. We have to leave those things. We can't always be around people who are peer pressure. We have to get away from those kind of people and surround yourself around people who are positive, motivating, inspiring, uplifting. That's kind of who you want to be around. Number two, pride. If you got too much pride, that that right there alone is not really, that doesn't look cute on you, I'm sorry. Like it just doesn't. Y'all, give me one second. Duh. I'm back, y'all. I had to turn off the TV because it was so loud. Anyways, so um, as we were talking about pride, pride is something that really affects a friendship very much. Any of your peers, anybody that's around, if you have too much pride, or either the person you're friend with, friends with, if they have too much pride, then that's some people you probably need to back away from, isolate yourself from, because they are so focused on themselves and what they have instead of inspiring you to be great they are so busy looking at i me myself and i look what i have look what you don't have look what you're lacking in instead what you need to do is have a friend that is motivating inspiring like i said lifts you up you know that, that builds you up when you're torn down Build you up when you're weak. That's the kind of friend that you need in life. Not somebody who has too much pride and arrogance. Number three. Okay, toxicity. Or however you guys say it. I guess toxicity, or if you're toxic. Um, being around a toxic friend is something that I've dealt with in the past. You know, if you're very toxic, you know, that's just something that... Leave, you, people don't understand when they're toxic that leaves your friend with a scar you gotta understand what what effects being toxic can do you know being toxic to someone is something that's not really great it kind of puts a wear and tear on the, the person you're supposed to care about but I will tell the person who's in the victim I, the victim of who's the victim I can't even say it right who's the victim of being in a toxic friendship leave don't stick around too long. Just get out of that toxic relationship because it's honestly not worth it. You know, there's so many people out here who honestly wanted to be your friends, who actually want to be there for you. So I don't think it's important that you be in that toxic relationship. It's important that you leave out of it. Your 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 mentality and your mentalness is very important. Like, just get out of that relationship. It's honestly not really and it's not really worth it being in a toxic friendship. All you're gonna do is give yourself a stroke. You're giving yourself a stroke. Hey, just get out of the relationship. It ain't worth it. Just the friendship, leave it. It ain't, it ain't worth it. So that's what I tell people. The niggatry, really the niggatry. And I don't never use that word much, but the niggatry in this house is just something else. So the next thing that I wanna talk about is reach out to people, outreach. I feel like that's very important. If you reach out to people, that lets them know that you're there for them. You're a willing vessel to them. You're there for them to be friends. Reaching out to people that you want to be friends with is very important. Me, myself, I never really had friends with people and growing up even in high school. So I guess me having that desperation for friends has really affected me a lot because I ended up getting hurt every time. But I don't feel like there's a problem with you actually going out here and looking for friends and making friends with people. But I will say, be careful who you surround yourself around because that can affect you in the long run. You know, being around people who, that downgrade you a lot, 
that that's a lot of that I've dealt with even in for some friendships being very uncomfortable not fitting in oh that's another thing too if you don't fit in they're not gonna like you so try not to fit in the Bible talks about come out among them and be separate says the Lord the Bible talks about that you got to come out among the people that's here on this earth and be separate from people that's here on the earth be yourself be be yourself be unique be different you don't have to be like everybody else I mean of course it's the norm to try to fit in but you don't have to try to fit in be yourself you don't even really have to fit in. It, it's about be yourself, you know, just be yourself. So, I mean, you know, it, 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 how hard is that? You want to know what's so amazing? Let me tell you what is so amazing. So, so amazing. I woke up one great morning. Literally, I was house sitting for a pastor and his wife and something very inspiring that I found it on YouTube. I was scrolling through something very inspiring that I found it on Instagram. It amazed me. It touched me right here. And there was this man that says something so powerful. He said, stop texting people first. Stop calling people first. Stop texting people first. I haven't got an answer or any text back in a while. The moment you stop texting people first, you'll realize how many dead plants you've been watering. The dead plants that we've been watering in this world, in this life, is those friends, those so so-called friends that we call friends, but you don't hear from them very much. Sometimes we have to realize these people are not really our friends. I feel like a real true friend would actually check up on you to see how you're doing. They'll be loyal. They'll be there for you whenever you're in your roughest time. Somebody, a wise man told me, a real friend, they'll be with you on your lowest points in life. Those are what your real friends are. But people that stop texting you, you question if that's your real friends. Their excuses are, oh, I'm busy. I don't have time. But they'll make time for everybody else but they don't want to make time for you as a real friend, the person that was there from them from the beginning. So talk text people first. Then you realize how many dead plants you've been watering. And like I said, those dead plants are always those so-called friends that you have that you think are actually there for you when they're really not. So you got to choose wisely of who you call yourself friends. You got to choose wisely of who you call your so-called friends. They're not really your friends. They worry your friends, they'll be there for you. So it's important that you really see who's there for you. Because I'm telling you, most of the time a real friend is there for you 100% of the time. And the problem that I've dealt with in the past with having real friends is that I would give 100% in that friendship. And all I would probably get is pretty much 35% of that friendship. And all I ask for is simply the same percentage that I give in this friendship, I want that back in return. Oh, yeah, I'll do that for you. But I don't ever get it. I don't ever find loyal friends. So be careful who you choose to be a friend because you don't want to keep getting hurt over and over and over and over again. That's why you have to choose really wisely who you call your friends because people will hurt you every time. So just be careful who you consider your friends, okay? So, yeah, that's the end of our video for today. But that's pretty much what I wanted to get on here today to talk about. It's just pretty much just to inspire you guys and just to motivate you people to just keep pressing forward and moving on because I feel like it's very important for you guys to do that. Uh, I know I have not been very up to date on my videos, my Exploring Abandoned Places videos. I know I've been lacking that. Like I literally have been lacking y'all like, where are some more Abandoned Exploring videos? Well, I haven't really been doing any because I've been so busy. I didn't really have time to really to do it. So I mean, you know, I'm gonna start being more active on that and you know doing more photography as far as exploring i do have a few places that i'm going to check out and i'm going to be teaming up with some youtubers i'm not going to tell y'all who they are y'all just got to find out y'all can go check them up on instagram and tiktok also i do have a tiktok that i'm going to link at the bottom if you guys want to check it out and go look at some of my videos and see what you think you know i don't think there's anything wrong with checking out tiktok you know i just got into it anyways a lot of drama on there but uh Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok, Adventures in Urbex. And also, you guys follow me on YouTube. Of course, here we are. Subscribe. Uh, Facebook is My Adventures in Urbex. And also, Instagram, Adventures in Urbex. But yeah, this is the end of our video. So you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, stay cool.